Okay, so we're going to Porto Velarto. Porto Velarto. Porto Velarto? <coughs> How do you pronounce it? <laughs> I think they're gonna kick you out of Mexico. I think that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, they're gonna hate me over there. But okay, so this is gonna be cool. Like, there's a couple of things that we could do. Would you wanna go horseback riding? Yeah, actually. That would you do it? Yeah, of course I would do okay, that. That'd be really fun. I don't think you have to wear a helmet. These people- A are helmet? Like, Who wears a helmet when they ride horses? Some people do. They do? Yeah, you can get hurt. And then I found uh, paddle boarding. That's what they call it, right? The, the, the long ones. That's when we're called... standing up? Yeah. Oh, you go like this? Would you do that? That's cool. Wait, are you strapped to it or no? You're not strapped Oh, I don't know about that, actually. I'm kind of scared of the water. No, no, you'll be fine. There's sharks though. No, there's no sharks in the ocean. What? There's no sharks in the ocean? Not not in not in the Pacific Ocean. Oh. Okay. There's no sharks. Okay. Shoot, why are you with jammies already? I need to get my pajamas. I know. So another one that I found is making chocolate, but it's like you make chocolate from scratch, like with the bean and everything. We're gonna be Willy Wonka? That's gonna be so much fun. Oh my god. They're gonna hate us. They're gonna hate us. I wanna go right now. No, but I'm half Mexican. I should be able to get away with a lot more than you. Aaron, you're looking at your fair skin. Fair like, skin. Ah, this fun chocolate making class is something a little different from the usual Puerto Vallarta activities. Explore the coco meso and learn the process caco coco beans are put through <laughs> as they become <laughs> yeah. the delicious chocolate sweets we know and love. You'll get hands-on experience making Mexican chocolate drinks in a chocolate bar you can take home. I love hands-on experiences. Those are my favorite. It's gonna be so romantic. We're gonna get to each other. It's ages five to 99. So what if you're 100 though? You can't do it? Damn. Look, at this is the um, paddle board. Oh, that looks really fun. Oh my God. Do we go under that tunnel? <gasps> I think so, but this is Lost Ark. Oh yeah, that's oh. 23 hour drive. So we're not, we don't want to do that? That's a 23 hour drive? Look, look, you can do like, there's like a line of them. Look. We can't do that, that's 23 hour drive. We're only there for three days. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so that one's a no. That one's a no. It's cool because we haven't been on like a vacation vacation where we're actually just relaxing and like, we haven't had a real vacation, like getting away for a couple days, like on a beach and relaxing for like ever, huh? I know, we haven't had a vacation, it's just been me and you and like, I can't even remember. Where we actually just go on vacation. I'm excited though, finally. It's gonna be fun going to Mexico too. We've never actually experienced like Mexico, Mexico like that. I know, it's oh. so fun. So this, the horse ride is really fun. Like it's like, and the duration is five hours. Look, 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 you can swim with the horse. Oh my gosh. You guys have to see this, look. So as long as like the river isn't too high, I guess, like you get to ride the horse through the water. Can you ima like imagine us? <laughs> can we share a horse? Like like more, like a motorcycle <laughs> with, the, the, with the side of that and the side. We can't catch. share everything. That would be cute though. That would be cute. You can be like my maiden. It, oh, you can do with your two legs on the on the on the side of the horse. <laughs> yeah. You're, I don't think you can do that though. Or you can sit on my lap like I like just saved you from like a. Why am I the damsel? First of all. Because I think you're cute. I'm my damsel. You're the. You're my little damsel. You're my damsel. <laughs> Oh my. What are you doing? Wait, give me your hand real quick. What give are you? Hand. Who are you trying to be? Is that? Oh, Merlin. <laughs> Who is that? Merlin when he wants the rabbit kick. Yeah, I hate the rabbit kick. I hate that. He like tries to like. Oh shit, he was crazy. All right, that was exciting though. Yeah. Do you believe it though? Finally, vacation has been so long. I know. I'm really excited. I can't like. This is really cool. When was the last time we went on vacation? Just you and me. I don't remember. It's been a really long time since we've just been on vacation, period. I know. You know that feeling when you go on vacation, you come back, you just need to step away from your world for a while? Yeah. I never really got like... Well, I don't want to step away from this world. I don't want to step away from this world either. But I never really got that feeling of like, oh, I need to, I need to go on vacation. Yeah. Like I need to like stop working and blah, blah, blah. But like, I don't know, lately I'm like, I kind of need a reset. Yeah. Well, let's go. Shake up. I'm excited. Me too. It's gonna be so romantical. It is gonna be very romantical. There's that one pool that where like there's like a table in the water. <gasps> it's so cool, you guys. We have to look into that and how to like because we might have to reserve it ahead of time. But there's like a restaurant 
where the dining room tables are in the pool. Ugh. But like, it's like ankle high deep. But like, how cool is that? We're gonna be able to film all of that though. I wanna be in my bathing suit like the whole time. Yeah, whole time. Like, no geez. shirt. Oh God, wait, what? Well, we gotta cut back on the cookies. Yeah, I've been slacking. We gotta, we have a month and a half to get ready. <laughs> All right, are you excited for vacation? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's gonna be really fun. I mean, it's Mexico. This is gonna be I so know. cool. You didn't tell me that there was tequila tasting with the horseback riding. Yeah, and then I think they like feed you too. And then you ride a horse for like an hour, an hour and a half uh -huh. to the like, like, I don't know, I guess not a resort or something. But then they have a pool there so you can go swimming there. Oh. And they have tequila tasting and like they feed you. Why are you over here by yourself? Honey, you left your panties on the floor. Where? It's in your background. Those are straight up pantyhose. Why are you rocking him? Because he's a baby. You look crazy. Oh. All right. Just leave me like everyone else does. I'm still here 17 years later. 17 and a half. But who's counting? I'm counting. It's a long time to be with someone. Right. <laughs> I'm not counting. It's like 8 o'clock at night and I'm ready to go to bed. Me too, I'm exhausted. You know what I say we do? I say like we like get like a bowl of popcorn. Uh -huh. Maybe a little glass of wine, a little, a little, a little one. And then we watch a movie and cuddle in bed. That sounds beautiful. Alright, you ready for movie night? I'm so ready for movie night. Alright, let's go do it. Hey guys, okay, so today is the official launch day for my new book, the third book in the Buxy Manor series, The Shadow of the Langham Hotel. If you guys wanna go order it, you're free to order it. You don't, it's not just the Kindle version anymore, it is the physical copy now. This book has taken me four years to write. Look at it, it's thick. Um, and I'm really excited about it because this is like, this <coughs> book has so much of my personal life in it. A lot of um, childhood trauma that I went through, a lot of um, relationship stuff, a lot of like, you know, it's all through the main character's eyes, but um, it's a lot of things that, um, you know, it was kind of like that therapy session for me. It's like my own diary. This is the first book in the installment. I wrote this back in 2015, launched it in 2016, and it's called The Ghost of Bucks and Manor. It's the first book, and it's, a, it's kind of a standalone book. You can read it and close it and be done. But it continues in the second book, The Monster of Chateau Decor. But it's kind of an anthology series. The books are slightly connected, but really there's two standalone books. But now in the third book, that's when the both stories collide. So there's a character from the first book and there's a character from the second book. The first book has ties to Peter Pan. The second book has ties to Frankenstein. The third book, it has ties to Alice in Wonderland. Now the fourth book has ties to another classic literature book. I won't say what it is; it's top secret. But um, that there, um, the final book, there is a prologue at the end of this book, where um, it's a prologue. So it's the very last chapter of this book, and so it's a little sneak peek into the fourth installment. And I've read all of his books, and he's a really, really talented author. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because you're my husband. I really love all of your writing style. It's dark, it's creepy, it's cool, it's fun, and it's very just you. Like, whenever I read it, I know that it's you. I'm so proud of you, and it's I'm really, really Thank proud you, of everything buddy. you've done because these books are amazing, and uh, it's cool to see them as an actual... It's a series! series now. Like, I've never written a series like this. No, they actually look like a series now. People will write to me to this day and tell me that the book made them cry, and this one actually made me cry. And there's a part at the end that I can't, and I think it's because I put my own, um, like things that I've gone through, through with my mom who has dementia, who suffered from mental illness, from um, other traumas that I faced in life. And I think it, it's like, it, I choke up every time I read it. Thank you so much for all the support. And uh, we do have some exciting stuff going on with YouTube too that we're, um, we're gonna be launching in the next couple of weeks and also on Patreon. So um, stay tuned for all that.